Ness Street and Damstrad. So I don't really have an update on what's going on with the coffee shop situation, but I've heard rumors on both hands saying like, ah, oh, it won't happen. You know, they've tried to threaten this before, but you know, I don't know if it will happen because some people are saying, yeah, it's gonna happen. It's gonna take place next year, starting next year. So there's no like confirmed answer, but these are some of the rumors that I've heard so far about the coffee shop situation um, for them banning tourists and uh, allowing only residents to go to the coffee shops in Amsterdam. I mean, it's going to be kind of a big deal. Uh, so, yeah, that's what that that I have so far. But, you know, I know if you want to stick around and uh, take a walk with me, I'm going to walk down this way through the red light district, through the coffee shop, maybe the bulldog area or wherever it takes us. But yeah, this is a really pretty walk. But I just want to talk about, like, they did a project 1012. 1012 is basically the zip code for the red light district, Duwallen. They call it Duwallen in Dutch. It's basically the old area, the neighborhood within the old walls, you know, right? So it's called the walls. And that's what they refer to when they're talking about, like, the red light district, um, mainly. You know, there's three red light districts, like I said in Amsterdam, the main ones, like there's one in Depipe, there's one like just behind the Rijks Museum, like off the Ruderskala or whatever, I don't know how to say that um, canal name, but yeah, the, the red, light, red light stuff is completely, you know, different, but the coffee shop situation is they want to close a bunch of shops and they want to make it um, only for residents, no tourists allowed, so yeah, we'll have to see how that kind of goes. Um, I'll take you a walk over here around the corner where all the bulldog the bulldog uh, coffee shops are and I think those are like mainly tourists they're not even open right now for you know during the hard lockdown where they allow coffee shops to open until 8 p.m. so yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work out for them and I know there's a few shops I mean that aren't open so well, not just the bulldog but a lot of shops aren't open Oh, there seems to be quite a few people out checking out the um, snow today. Let's take a look down this canal really quick. They have all these bikes that are covered in snow. Cool. The flowers covered in snow. <laughs> Even the boats are. But we'll walk down this way. Let's take a walk down this way. Yeah, so this is the canal where all the bulldogs, well, there's like other bulldogs outside of this area, but this is like where the red light bulldog coffee shops are at. And this whole like street is pretty much mostly all bulldogs. Oh, church bells are going off again. It's coming from that side, so. I don't think it's the old church one. But yeah. I hear it pretty distinctively. I wonder which church that is. Maybe the one near Amsterdam. But yeah, here, here, these are all the bulldog coffee shops. Oh, look at it, it's all snow blocked here. I think we went to this one really quick one time, but we didn't go inside because it was super crowded. We, we went in there one time and I think we grabbed the nug or something, I forgot what it was, but we rolled a quick joint with it and went on our way. And this one is just like one of their stores where they, the brand store where they sell like all their souvenirs, like sweatshirts and keychains and lighters and whatever whatnot. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh look at the pretty <laughs> take a look over here. Look at the pretty canal bridge. It's 
so pretty. I'm not getting close because I might slip. Oh, you just slipped. Yeah, it's, it's slippery. I don't want to get too close to the edge of the canal. I'm not trying to go in there. But yeah, these these are the canals that the bulldogs sit on. And you know, I think a couple of the bulldogs are open, but some of them are closed on this street. Little cans are covered. Oh, parametrics. Paramedics, paramedics. <laughs> yeah, and then they have this over here. These pretty lights. It's so pretty. I love it when they have like these lights on. And still Christmas to me. <laughs> there, here's another bulldog. The lights are off. I think this is the one that's closed right now. This is the Mac. But yeah, talking about the 1012 project, sorry, I'm going to bounce back to that. They used to have a project going on and, you know, when I got here back in 2016, um, it was still being talked about because it was coming close to like the 10 year mark where they had started in 2007, 2008. And so they were saying that it was pretty much failed. I mean, a lot of it was done like the whole redoing of like Damrak and Roken making you know spreading out they call that the red carpet so when you come out of central station you basically come out to the red carpet and then there's the red light district that it leads into if you head you know to the east and then basically they're saying that you know the failed project because you know they said that there's still a problem and still you know they're still not <laughs> getting what they want i guess but they closed down a bunch of shops at the time over 100 shops i think or no, they closed like over a hundred um, red light district windows and then they closed like 26 coffee shops and then I think a few more closed, I don't know, like another 40. I don't have the exact numbers, but yeah. Here's the Bulldog coffee shop. This one's open today. It's totally snowing, it looks cool. And there's a really cool alley over here. I know you guys have been in this alley before, but it leads to red light. Ooh, it looks creepy with the smoke going down. It has like crazy graffiti along the wall on either side. And there's always the no fucking photos up on the ceiling. But yeah, that leads to a whole bunch of red light rings down there. Maybe we can go down it. Let me see if he wants to go down this way. The old church is over here. You want to go to the old church or down the dirty alley? <laughs> now let's go down the old church. There's more snow to look at. <laughs> if you guys want me to go down to the dirty alley, just let me know and then I'll take a video for you guys. Just make a comment and smash that like. <laughs> I usually say at the end of the video, but yeah, this is the old church. I wanted to show this area the kids. Having fun at <laughs> the snow. Cute. No, because if we're gonna get snow, this will be a way. Oh, and there's snow falling. Wait, can you make a snow angel? I could. Oh, I want to get it off the scooter. Make sure the lens is not dirty. Oh. So paranoid of the lens being the old spot. I don't know, I lost a lot of footage because I had a big old spot on the lens. Yeah, you can see the snow falling down, kids having fun, <laughs> the old church coffee shop is closed. They're doing repairs on the church. Oh, look at the snow. I think it shows up well when you like go into the light. But, yeah. Surprise! <laughs> no, she's been here. This is Belle. No, this is Belle. This has been here. No way. Never yeah, seen that she's a statue that they put in for the sex workers. Never seen this Respect before. for all the sex workers. Sex workers. Belle. 
And there's like a boob in the concrete over there I showed in one of my other videos, but yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that. Anywho, just wanted to show you guys around with the snow and talk about, you know, that project a little bit. We can talk about it a little bit more if you guys want me to elaborate on it. But yeah, um, just something to think about. Like they said that it failed one time, so why would they try to repeat what they want to do again? That they know that it didn't really help. <sighs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like, and uh, you know, share this video will be really, really great. So, catch you guys next time. Bye.